this is a drug discovery program and drug discovery is a really long process, really high risk and really expensive. We've been working with Inhibitex and now BMS since 2007 and the early aims of the project were to discover some molecules that would attack the hepatitis C virus. It's codenamed INX189 and we first made this in the labs in Cardiff in November 2008 and it progressed into man, first in man, by May 2010. That's 18 months and that's incredibly quick. Industry normally takes about three years to do that. We did it in 18 months. So the potential for this project is manyfold. First of all, for training of students and researchers is enormous. Already two of the key inventors have gone on to permanent careers elsewhere. In addition, there's a potential to bring income into Cardiff University and to Wales in general. Already, Inhibitex has invested something over one and a half million pound in the labs in Cardiff. If the drug is successful, as is typical in these projects, uh, a royalty is shared between the company and the university, and this could lead to very substantial income to Cardiff, which would be reinvested in further research. In addition, of course, the key benefit would be a new treatment for patients, and this is a disease without a cure, and if that emerges from Cardiff through Inhibitex and now through BMS, that would be a magnificent achievement. The interaction between my lab and Inhibitex and now BMS has led to phenomenal level of training for the students and the researchers. They've been exposed to the leaders in the world in terms of taking a molecule forward from the chemistry lab, from an academic environment, through to uh, a commercial sponsor and now into patients. And for a student, I think that training is unparalleled. The most important thing that we've learned here with our collaboration with Inhibitex and BMS right now is how important it is for the uh, school based groups like ours to collaborate with pharmaceutical companies that can give you an opportunity to see how the compound is being progressed from the bench, so from here when it was actually developed, to the clinic step by step and it's actually amazing. The project has secured five jobs in Cardiff in my laboratories for seven years now in total and is going on for further interactions between my lab and Bristol Myers Squibb, the new owner of the technologies. One in interesting aspect of this discovery is that we've seen the potential for its exploitation in cancer chemotherapy and we have new molecules which look promising in that arena and they've been licensed to a Scottish company called Nucana Biomed and they're progressing into man in July of this year so with further jobs created. I believe there are a small number of high quality jobs that are directly created and then other jobs attached and spinning off that.